Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today I'm going to be talking about COVID-19 testing. I know we're all tired of hearing about COVID-19. We're all tired of reading about it. We're all tired of talking about it. We're all tired of the inconveniences that have happened in our life. But the pandemic continues to rage on, and we should all try to be as informed as possible, right? So I want to go through testing because I think there's a lot of confusion still about COVID-19 testing. First of all, why should you get a COVID-19 test in the first place? Well, to see if you're infected. That's the reason why most people get the test. So if you're showing symptoms, you want to talk to your doctor or uh, your healthcare provider about getting tested for COVID-19. Now, I know also in some areas of the country, they're doing a lot of community testing at churches and schools and uh, community outreach events to try to determine who's asymptomatic in terms of testing. So again, the whole point is to see if you've got disease. Now, I'm gonna try to simplify this. The COVID-19 virus is a RNA virus. That means the genetic material of the virus. There are three main types of tests for COVID-19 based upon the target of the test. The RNA, which is the genetic material, the antigen, which is the outer protein, and antibody, which measures your immunity in your blood. Okay, got that so far? All right, so let's talk about the gold standard test. That's the PCR. It stands for polymerase chain reaction. It detects the virus by uh, amplifying the viral DNA, or the viral RNA, so it can be detected. Again, it's a uh, genetic test. It's looking for the genetic material from the SARS-CoV-2 virus. That's the virus that causes COVID-19. And when someone is infected, they have this genetic material in their nose and their upper throat. Hint, hint, that's why you should wear a mask to cover your nose and your upper throat and your mouth so you don't get infected. So people take a swab, they take a sample from with a swab from the area of the nasal passage where the viral particles are likely to be present. Now, they used to also do testing from the throat, but that's commonly uh, not used as much because the nasal testing is far more accurate. Now, another test is the antigen test. This type of test, the antigen test, tests the viral proteins, which are on the outside of the virus. In general, this is a cheaper test, faster than the RNA test, but it's just not as accurate either. But they use these tests, these antigen tests for screening. So for example, the test that's being done on people who go to the White House briefings and around the president, they use the antigen test. Now, um, again, they're screening tests. And if you have a negative test, but you have symptoms, you may need to have the molecular diagnostic, the PCR test. Now, the last test I'm gonna talk about are the antibody tests. That measures immunity in your blood. It tells you if you've had COVID-19, if you've been previously exposed to the virus that causes COVID-19. Now, typically the antibodies don't even, um, you can't measure them until seven to 14 days after the onset of symptoms. Now, the antibody test should not be used for diagnosis of current infection because it takes time to produce the antibodies in the body. Now the antibody tests, there were so many of them when this disease, this virus just started appearing and there was a rush to get these antibody tests out. There was a lot of poor performance and the FDA recently pulled a lot of these tests off the market. Okay, now that's the testing. Now, as you probably heard, there's lots of problems with testing here in the United States, but let's just talk about the basic ones. 
if the specimen collection is not done properly, or if you're in an early stage of infection, or if you're already partially recovered from your infection, your nasal swab sample might not contain enough viral material to come back positive. And so we've probably all heard of people who've had COVID-19. I know some folks who have been so sick and on the ventilator with COVID-19 and their tests were still negative. Because again, the window of opportunity to detect the virus is gone. Now, but one thing is for sure, if your diagnostic, which is your PCR test, is positive, that means you have the virus. But if you have a negative test, like a negative antigen test and a negative PCR test, that does not mean you don't have the virus, particularly if you have the symptoms of COVID-19. So really, it's most accurate if you have symptoms plus a positive test. Always go by the symptoms. Now, there are many problems with testing currently. First of all, we're in a huge surge of infection. Uh, the testing chemicals, the reagents, the supplies, the equipment is in short supply. It's not keeping up with the demand in cases. And many people are waiting five to 10 days for their results, which effectively renders the results useless. So folks, if you think you've got COVID-19, if you're showing symptoms, again, we are in the middle of a raging pandemic right now. So if you're showing symptoms, always talk to your doctor uh, or your healthcare provider and find out how you can get tested. Now, you don't need to have a doctor's order anymore to get testing. There are some states which offer testing at Rite Aid and CVS, and there's a lot of outreach efforts that are doing testing at churches and schools and in the community. So again, it's important to know the symptoms of COVID-19, which can vary, but the most common symptoms are cough, and fever. Many people have a headache. They have a loss of taste and smell. Most people have sore throat because the virus replicates in the throat. Many people have a runny nose, particularly children. They only have a runny nose, cough, and fever. Some people have joint uh, discomfort, muscle aches, pain in their body. Vomiting and diarrhea are very common as well. And again, uh, shortness of breath toward the end. Uh, some people present with um, confusion and uh, a loss of alertness. But again, that's typically in more advanced stages of disease. So know the symptoms of COVID-19. And again, it's so important to have a relationship with a healthcare provider during this pandemic. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. My views are my own. I hope that's been helpful. Again, three types of tests. The PCR, which is the diagnostic. It tests the genetic material. The antigen, which is a screening quick test. And the antibody test, which shows if you've been exposed to the virus and developed an immune response in your blood. Views are my own. Have a blessed day.